सो हाउ फास्ट कैन यू मल्टीप्लाई थर्टीन विद ट्वेल्व आई एम गिविंग यू थ्री सेकेंड्स योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ द टाइम इज अप द करेक्ट आंसर इज वन फिफ्टी सिक्स सो लेट्स टेक आउट द फास्ट वे ऑफ डूइंग इट इन ऑर टू मल्टीप्लाई थर्टीन विथ ट्वेल्व क्विकली ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज एड दिस डिजिट टू दिस इंटायर नंबर और राइट सो टू प्लस थर्टीन इज फिफ्टीन एंड यू हैव द फर्स्ट टू डिजिट ऑफ यूर आंसर ना फॉर द लास्ट डिजिट ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज मल्टीप्लाई दिस डिजिट विथ दिस डिजिट सो थ्री टू टाइम्स इज सिक्स सो द आंसर इज वन फिफ्टी सिक्स नाउ इज इन दैट इजी This method is known as base method of multiplication. This is in fact a very powerful technique of multiplying even the bigger numbers. Okay, and we'll be using it very frequently from here on. So let me just explain this method to you in more detail. to multiply numbers that are close to each other isn't it like 13 and 12 they are quite close to each other what we do we take a third number which is called a base which is closer to both these numbers now base should be a friendly number a convenient number to multiply with like 10 100 1000 10000 so on and so forth uh these are primary bases we can even take secondary bases like 20 50 150 200 so we can take any base as long as we are comfortable with multiplying with it so 12 is at the distance of plus 2 from 10 and 13 is at the distance of plus 3 from the base 10 all right now to get the first two digits of your answer all you need to do is add these numbers in a cross manner so 3 plus 12 is 15 or 13 plus 2 is 15 either ways you'll get the same answer so you're not likely to go wrong here all right now since base 10 has 10 so there is one more place to go for that all you need to do is find the product of the distance from the base so 3 times 2 is 6 so we put 6 here all right but in reality we need not do all these steps okay for numbers from 11 to 19 this digit is what the distance from the base is isn't it 2 is the distance from the base 3 is the distance from the base so we can do it directly it will become all the more simple that is what we did that you add this to to this entire number 13 plus 2 is 15 you will get the first two digits of your answer for the last digit isn't it because base 10 has 10 so there is one more place here to go you just find the product of this number and this number this digit and this digit that is 6 so let's take more examples let's see what is 13 times 13 so again add this number to this entire number so 3 plus 13 is 16 and you'll have the first two digits of your answer for the last digit because base 10 has 10 so one more digit to go so just find the product of these two digits 3 times 3 is 9 so the answer is 169 see it's so simple what is 15 times 14 so add this 4 to this entire number 15 plus 4 is 19 for the last digit what you do 5 4 times is 20 so you carry forward to right zero here 19 plus 2 is 21 so the answer is 210 are you getting the point what is 18 times 15 so add this digit to this entire number 18 plus 5 is 23 now for the last digit find the product of this digit and this digit 8 5 times is 40 so carry forward for right zero here 23 plus 4 is 27 so the answer is 270 now what is 22 times 13 all right since this is more than 19 so we actually have to find the distance from the base 10 13 is plus 3 more than the base and 22 is plus 12 more than the base 
now in a cross fashion add this 3 to 22 so 22 plus 3 is 25 for that matter even 12 plus 13 will give you 25 now for this last digit find the product of 12 and 3 12 3 times is 36 so 25 plus 3 is 28 so this is your answer now what is 23 times 21 all right so again uh, we are taking the base as 10 all right so 21 is plus 11 more than the base and 23 is plus 13 more than the base so 11 plus 23 is 24 34 again I have used the jumping 10 technique all right now one more place to go so 13 11 times you know that to multiply any two digit number with 11 all you need to do is add the two digits and sandwich the result in between so 1 plus 3 is 4 so the answer would be 143 so I'll write 1 4 3 all right now add the digits so it would be 4 8 3 that's your answer but then what I would say that it would be much better if we take the base as 20 here we would be learning how to take the base as 20 and how to go about it in the coming videos.